my name is Charlie and I'm the lead technician on the drivetrain area. Today we are talking about the first electric RRC built by ACD. It's going to be powered by a Tesla drive unit out of the Model S. So the motor is being reworked and the internal gears are being redone, converted to limited sleep and also the gear is being changed to one to one so that way it's going to act as the original transfer case of the vehicle. We are pushing out 450 kilowatts, taking about 200 miles in a full charge. This big thing here, guys, is a battery front main battery pack, uh, custom made to fit in between the frame. Also, it's gonna get another one inside the vehicle on the cargo area, but it's gonna be smaller than this one. Like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's a vehicle that never been intended to be electric. Uh, custom made brackets, and trying to get everything to fit in between the frame. Plus the fact that we got a unibody vehicle, not like a Defender, that you got separate parts. It's a whole body, make it to fit in top of the battery without removing it is quite a big challenge. I'm excited to see the torque. Torque delivery out of electric motor is basically instant. So I wanna see how that is gonna be on the street. So now I'm gonna be turning to Bach, who is the lead technician on the electric area. So he's gonna be explaining a little bit more about all the electrical part of the build. My name is Buck Beavers, and I am the head of ECD's electrical R&D. Well, with Charlie installing the drivetrain and the batteries, um, the next step would be to place all of the control components in the vehicle and come up with an elect uh, a harness, a wiring harness to fit the Range Rover. The uh, Range Rover has not been done before, so we're faced with the challenge of uh, finding homes for all these components. Well, so far I've not gotten into the build yet because Charlie's just now getting done with his part. So we're about to get into ours pretty hot and heavy. Um, looking forward to uh, just figuring it out and <laughs> making it all work. Yeah.